Hey all, Tevs here. I'm back playing some more Planet Zoo. So we are back in the dome. So we created this in the last episode uh, based on the, what well, inspired by rather than based on the uh, Parc Zoologique dome in Paris. Uh, it's a great big kind of rainforest tropical enclosure that they have there. So this started off with a structure really just kind of inspired by that and I'm deviating away from the interior now. So you can sort of see in the background, and we we did a lot of this in the last episode. But there's a um, one of the kind of things about this this build was I wanted it to kind of always look like it was um, you know, kind of realistic, realistic in construction, weirdly as well as kind of the way it looks. I think in order to make something look kind of realistic, it's got to have the kind of uh, uh, yeah, kind of plausible construction. So you see quite a lot of the things that I'm you know, here. Exact, I'm building a, a bamboo facade around what will eventually be a little um, kind of cubby for the, the capuchin monkeys. Um, but I'm building it with breeze block there, and I'm putting this kind of um, this layer of bamboo on top of it. And I've deliberately left gaps. I kind of want it to look like. I kind of want the guests to be able to see. The bits of concrete and the stuff that threw it and you'll see if you didn't see the last episode i'm using a lot of these new uh, the rock piece that we got uh in the um in the, the south america dlc because it kind of is a cool really cool kind of fake rock uh looking thing it looks much more like a fiberglass thing than it does a rock so i'm using that a lot i've stacked that up and that's what i'm using for a lot of my rock work so this is our if you didn't see that one um then uh, that previous episode don't worry i will be going back over these tunnels in a bit or these runs in a bit as you see here i'm taking them out and replacing them so these do work um and you'll see in the um in the live action bit at the end that the monkeys will run through this and it's really cool they make a really cool sound so i'll go through um how to put these together they're very simple and they've, they actually i think they look quite realistic so we've got two of them here and we'll be using them throughout the dome i think um i'll talk about that a bit more later but pretty simple so i just in the last episode i bought, built the one that you can see in the background there and now i'm kind of replacing that uh the waterways are empty at the moment as you can see um, and, and those sort of gaps and things that you can see there that in the concrete i've i've fixed now um so i'm putting a wall in now um and the point of this was i want to be able to make sure that it looks kind of credible um, as in something that still kind of fits in to this kind of mix between it being sort of semi realistic industrial kind of uh, real sort of things that they would have in a zoo but then it's got this facade layer on top of it and in the in terms of the fence I'm really keen to make sure that I don't block any of the sight lines I don't really want someone looking through the window that you'll see in the minute um, into this habitat and having to have an obstructed view so i wanted to have either you know, glass or kind of a chain fence at the back there so they can look right through to what will eventually be behind obviously it's just blank hole at the moment so this is um yeah this is me replacing this fence or kind of joining these fences together um i really like these new bamboo pieces interestingly enough actually i sort of discovered that i don't think things will climb on the over the ropes so weirdly all these knotted ropes anyway these rope ends um the monkeys won't climb over them so i've sort of discovered that a couple of times here's an interesting bit as well actually in the video so the reason i included this you'll see a lot of cuts in this video as well because there's a lot of footage but this is actually me taking out the habitat gate so i sort of made the decision you'll see this later on that i had a choice that i have a because i'm using this kind of run you know overhead runs thing um i don't want or i don't actually really even need to have the keepers or the you know, the vets or the mechanics or anything access this section of the of the habitat so um one of the one of the side effects of that well i mean it's a bit of a trade-off basically you either don't allow them to come into this part of the habitat um and that will mean so you don't have to create like a pathway for them uh, and that means i can have these little kind of rat run things 
Um, but what obviously that will mean is that if you put any kind of feeders in that section of the habitat, the, the keepers won't be able to get there to refill it. It doesn't seem to be a problem um, for repairing the, the, the perimeter, and it doesn't also seem to be a problem for keeping the, the habitat clean. As it seems to be now that as long as the keepers can get to any section of the habitat, they will just hoover up the poop um weirdly or that the poop just kind of disappears i did notice this a while ago in my franchise suit because i had the same thing in that one with the, the hippo enclosure that the keepers couldn't get to the section of land or actually even the, the the bedding area that i'd created but it never really seemed to be a problem never had a problem with um habitat cleanliness and i think that is a combination of either that they don't eat the animals don't eat in that section so they maybe they don't poop in that section as much um but also yeah it seems to be that um it just kind of magics the as long as they can hoover a section they're hoovering the whole thing and you'll notice the same with the mechanics repairing the fence they just come inside the gate and they repair the fence um and then the flip side of that is obviously that it's a really good way of having the animals move across the runs because they'll always have to come back into the onto the other side of the run to get fed and um, that will make sense a bit more when you see it so there's back to some rock work so i can't remember if i talked about this in the last episode but i was really keen to make it and i'm going to continue this um and you'll see as i go that that the, the pathways are kind of embedded down inside the undergrowth so i'm making all of these raised beds and i'm going to be doing lots of work to kind of overhang branches and foliage and plants and all that sort of thing so that they that the guests feel like they're really kind of immersed in it and um, there's a good that's a good shot actually of the of the overhead runs so yeah just lots of tropical foliage and um, love all this new stuff uh yeah this is pretty much going to be i mean a lot of this dome is going to be like this it's going to be with these kind of overhanging things and this rock work that's a good good shot actually where you can see that um it's almost deliberately fake looking rock so it's deliberately repetitive and it's deliberately kind of the same and i haven't made it look too um too natural because i always feel like the, the rock in the game looks a bit too natural and um, this was quite a nice little feature that i think i'm going to do probably again just creating these little extra little layers and some some lower beds so i just added in this little uh planted bed down here You'll have to let me know, guys, what you think of this rock, because I think it looks really cool. Um, and it's actually, obviously, it's a much smaller individual piece there. It's in the temple set. Um, it's almost like a rubble piece in the temple set, but it's an individual rock that I've used uh, a bunch of times. So this is our first view of inside the habitat. Um, and I did a bit of a weird thing in here, actually. Um, I'm not entirely sure what, <laughs> what people will make of it when they view. But... Again, this continuing this theme of it being this is a great big concrete poured floor. The whole place is a great big massive concrete poured floor. So what I decided to do was rather than suddenly expose dirt and earth, was to play with this idea that it's still all concrete. They've just added stuff on top. So rather than soil the whole thing out, they painted the floor green. Well, they've you know the, the the plaster floor is green um and they've put earth and, and earth and plants and stuff on top of that obviously the trees is a bit odd but um i think it kind of works it's something different i've definitely not seen anyone else do it sometimes there's a reason why that is but i think it came out right um and you'll see a bit more of this in the live action section and so this is me just giving them a bit of a climbing structure um obviously they've got as far as the game is concerned um I'm, yeah i'm playing this on sandbox mode so it doesn't massively matter what the requirements of the animal are but they have plenty of um climbable areas and things um so yeah i just started creating this again i'm using the loads of the ropes i'm trying to kind of create this kind of um yeah credibility to the to the ropes and the and the bamboo structures where they they look like they're kind of you know those ropes are there to join the pieces together so obviously that would be kind of woven round um i hadn't at this point realized that the monkeys won't go on the actual ropes but they can jump over those so they, on those things they'll just jump over them um yeah i used the the green ones here so i could get a bit of um, contrast into those those colors and that's a 
bunch of places you can see the structure to the left there is all using that same that same thing this was a really cool moment actually this monkey couldn't wait <laughs> he was putting this putting this log down for it there's another good example of that kind of um yeah the, the what's the the guest facing passes versus the facade as well is inside of that building there is just breeze block um and painted green uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter to the doesn't matter to the people uh, uh, from our view because as a guest we can't see that this looks a bit weird but i'm creating this mural on the floor um if you didn't know if you didn't see that before in the last episode there's my kind of wavy walls um and there's got, that's going to be part of the um the, the palette for this whole zoo i think or for this at least this dome be using that wave like structure um, and if you want to know how to do that then ask me in the comments below pretty straightforward it takes just takes a bit of patience a bit of, of uh, a bit of fiddling about but yeah so that yeah putting this mirror down basically i just had this big kind of concrete um section and i want to give it something to make it a little bit less stark i kind of don't massively mind it being stark in places because again i think that fits to the to the reality of what zoos look like sometimes is that they do have to have you know, big cleanable areas and, and you know places that are hard wearing and, and good for footfall that sort of thing so yeah just putting a bunch of these signs together and coloring them um i think i do go back and fiddle with this after the uh, after the time lapse just to put some variation into those into those uh patterns so here's the here's the contrast actually to the backstage so this was quite cool actually i quite enjoyed this so this is the other side of the little um the runs or the the overhead passes this is the bit that the guests don't see where they actually um where the animals hang out i did some more detailing on this actually after the after the time lapse so yeah just putting structure in and it, what's cool is as you can see i've got the um the water pumps and um the feeding stuff will eventually be in here uh and so you know the animals the monkeys have to come across that run and they come across it all the time in fact basically they go to the other side to play and then they come back to this side to eat and to drink and to sleep as well so i yeah, made sure i've got no bedding or any of that sort of stuff over the other side they will sleep just kind of randomly on the ground but they you know, they often come back here so yeah two enclosures so there's two different runs there so um, and the one on the left, uh, you'll I think you'll. S I'm not sure if you see it now in the time lapse, but you'll definitely see it in a second when I do the live action bit. But um, I think I'm going to have monkeys throughout the dome. Uh, I may well just run these little uh, rat runs or these little overhead passes kind of throughout the dome um, because they're quite cool as sort of like an ambient sound and that sort of thing. And just having monkeys in the trees is kind of cool. So yeah, just giving this some, again, this is like heavy duty. Looks like it's totally functional. It's not about the aesthetic at all. Creating a little stairway. Um, I think I widen this actually later on because I realise that the the um, keeper can't get up there. So yeah, just putting this little set of steps in. And that's almost it, guys. So I will join you again after the time lapse for a bit of live motion. And I'll update you on stuff that's not in here because there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, peeps. So we're back inside. We're back outside. Uh, we'll have a little wander around uh, in Tejikam. Then I'll do a bit of a fly around. Uh, show you. I let, I've actually just added a few guests in just to... Uh, just to see how they kind of interact with stuff. Um, still lots of stuff I'm not done yet. All of this section is not done yet. Um, I kind of haven't massively decided what we're going to do in there. Uh, so we'll go through the, go the door and then we'll go to those new couple of doors on the left there. Uh, so that's backstage. So I'm really loving this view. This is probably my favourite view so far. Um, the sort of instant impact of that. Um, I'll show you some some night footage as well at some point because that looks kind of cool. Um, on the right there is all kind of not done stuff, but uh, there's our mural on the floor. 
we'll go that way in a minute. All right, people, chill. Uh, so here's our view. I'm not sure about this wall on the right. I actually took it out of the time lapse completely because I think I'm going to replace it. Not happy with it. Um, it's a bit too simple. So there's our little guys. Um, as you can see, this is all textured wall and everything. Just kind of interesting. Um, you can see them running around doing their strange animations. <laughs> I think it's pretty much just a jump animation that's off. Um, a lot of the time but yeah I think once I've got if you I hopefully you can see what I mean now by the um, what I said in the time lapse about the mesh background obviously at the moment that's all pretty stark looking back there but once that's filled out with more foliage and more habitats and stuff it will feel a bit more cohesive I think and that the whole thing's kind of joined together so you'll see they do um, yeah, I've seen a couple of people talk on their videos. I think Rudy said on his um, monkey video the other day that uh, it's important to kind of remember that they need they need kind of a path, um, and that if you just have kind of dead end, so they don't go up that rope to the tree very often because it's not actually going anywhere. Um, but you'll hopefully you can hear the ambience as well in here. Ooh, just caught a glimpse of one out of the eye. So yeah. Um, that's the I did I did end up adding you know, a bit more detail in there I've got some grass coming through here and some some rubble and stuff like that coming through we'll go and we'll do a proper flyover in a second but yeah up and down up and down they love going up and down there um, yeah I just think in the dome like the whole sort of dome view is come really starting to come together now as well now it's got some some stuff in here but let's go to this this way there's not an enormous amount to see, but what you get is obviously just that um, them flashing past above is really cool. And once I get more in, yeah, see, I just love that. That is so cool. Once I get more in, I kind of increase the number of them. I think they'll be more. They'll be moving back to always across there more and more often. Um, yeah, and I think they sort of seem like they've got two animation so they do like a quick one and then a, they'll do a so there's one doing doing a quick zip across and then they kind of chill out change their mind and sometimes come back again like he's waiting for his mate and he's come back again that one's just hanging around up there so we'll show you this in a second how i made these um in case you didn't catch that from the video so sort of, obviously it went past fairly quickly i think in both videos so this one is the temporary second structure. So these two habitats are, second, are separate. These two different tunnels lead to different actual habitats. Um, it's basically very similar habitats, but this one's actually much smaller. This one's smaller because it's going to continue off further into the dome structure. So yeah, I think I'm going to probably put a few more. I was thinking about putting a sign down or something. I think that will be the next episode. Something about something warning guests of uh, of the risk of monkeys dropping your gifts for you. So this is quite from this point of view, you really get that um, yeah the thing I was talking about in the time lapse of it being you're like down in the in the undergrowth and that things are um, you're sort of immersed in it. I want to keep these paths more narrow as well. I've just blocked off that so you can't kind of see that way. There's nothing there yet, anyway. Right, so let's go, let's do a little bit of a speedy up, speedy up, speedy up, speedy up, and we'll go through this door. So double airlock door, I haven't actually finished that. But this is the other side, so this is now our, um, our backstage area. Uh, and you can see what I mean, that they, yeah, they use all the feeders and everything in there. Um, I think one of the keys then is to having lots of them. So it's obviously if it's have plenty of kind of footfall across that that bridge. You have lots of monkeys, so you you know kind of offset the, the guys that are just hanging out in here. Um, yeah, I just noticed I've got a slight difference there that I've got got to fix up. Yeah, and, and you can see I widened the stairs. I did this little kind of rail on the side because actually the monkeys can't climb on the arctic pieces for some reason. And then yeah, just a bit of detailing. I did a drain in, and I did a, I did a, um, a hose there. 
little sign and some details and things. And then these kind of keypad passes on the doors, uh, which is obviously to open a big, big gate. So I think what I'm probably going to do, I'll just show you kind of sneaky through there. So this is obviously the back of the whole the dome. I think this is probably going to continue um, the more animals we add. I haven't decided exactly what's happening on this side of the wall yet. At the moment, this is actually a guest path, so this might lead to the toilets or to a restaurant or something. I think it might be quite interesting to have, to have a little window through. So yeah, let's go and show you... Um, let's just jump out of Tedger Can there for a second, so we can just show you a couple of extra things I've added. Um, I did a bit more adding onto the... This is actually a workshop piece, so I'll make sure that the, the link to this is in the, in the description. It's someone's... I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but I will um, make sure it's in the description. Awesome, awesome mod creator or workshop item creator. So, the, yeah, there's a lot of water in here, so it's got to look like it's kind of credible. So, yeah, this is the overhead view. Let me just scoop down inside here. Um, so, yeah, this is the kind of, you know, what I was saying about the fact that yeah, this doesn't need to be doesn't need to look like be dressed for example it just like this is just a painted wall um and you can't see this concrete so it doesn't matter from the other side even from over here you can't see it because you know at peep level you can't see so i think this wall's going to go um probably replaced by something a bit more interesting because it's a, a bit too repetitive um and then yeah i think as i said uh let's just add the water back in quickly oh no okay i've got a bit of an issue then at the moment something is interfering with my water level it's usually just yeah, it's probably something like that it might be the path or something but easy to recover um so yeah thinking that this habitat is going to continue on probably over this way um because it'd be nice to have monkeys in this tree i'm not sure they'll climb on that but i'm hoping they will um, so yeah, just quickly to show you this, the deconstruct of this. I'm going to make sure this is up on the workshop um, for people that yeah, want to use it. But it's basically that piece. That's all it is. So just that piece. Um, and then you want to make sure it's you know, flipped round. Uh, and then they tend to have, yeah, they do have a bit of a... Uh, Tend to have a bit of a width issue, so um, no, if you just did it like that, that's too small. So you'll see that in, I've actually made that a bit wider. It didn't seem to be a problem in the height, uh, but the width seems to be a problem. Um, the clearance of the animal, so the size of the animal obviously depends on, um, you know, the, the how much clearance they need around it. And you'll see that I've just you know, the habitats just run around. Yeah, they go through this central structure so they both share this central structure yeah, on the other side of the walls and then yeah, the animals can run backwards and forwards and stuff so lots to do um but yeah happy with the way that's coming along so far uh oh i'm in a wall um so i will as i said in the last episode i will be updating episode one was the park file was up on the workshop um so i will do this make sure to do the same with um, episode two just get all of that stuff off the screen um, so that you can have a play with it yourself yeah so yeah it's coming along it's coming along nicely um thank you very much for watching guys uh yeah i'm going to try and put these out every friday so oh got something selected in the back down there so yeah stay tuned for next friday um and yeah, thanks very much for watching. My name is Toves, and I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.